Hello YouTube, East Texas Garden here once again. Been a long time since we've had any updates on anything, so back around the last part of September, we were trying to germinate lettuce using dewy mixtures and no medium, which is what you see on the second shelf there. The lights are today going bright. We're going to turn them off here in a second. We're going to get an up close and personal look at both of the different ways we've grown lettuce here for the past about 45 days or so. First, I want to make note of the, the new shelf. Last video, all you saw was PVC. We went all fancy. Now, if you can sweet talk your wife into getting one of these shelves, this metal shelf, it's got five shelves on it, and putting it inside using a Dewey Mister and an air pump, you're going to get great results. It was hot here in East Texas back in September, first part of September, the last part of September when we began this experiment, and now it's starting to cool off pretty good. So I have a sneaky little feeling that everything that's on the shelves are fixing to get placed outside. We're going to have to see if we're going to have to heat the reservoir instead of try to cool it down with a big coaxicle. Now those lights you see there are the big high-powered LED lights. I personally am not sure that you need them. I bought them just to see if they would make that big a difference. I bought them and I put them on the lettuce within the last two weeks. So, to be honest, I couldn't tell you if they created such spectacular growth that the price that you pay for them is worth it. We just have to figure out a place to put it because I'm pretty sure that the in-house growing is done for this year. Okay, man, this is so much better. The bright pink lights are all gone. We're back up underneath regular white light. You can actually see what's going on. So we're going to move a little bit closer. And we're going to answer some questions. I have actually not looked underneath this bucket except for when I was adding water to it or nutrients to it on the Dewey Mister with, with the no medium. Those are grown straight from seed using the coffee filter tucked into the knee or the rubber top. The bottom was done in rock wool in the blue tote down on the very bottom. There's some big differences. I think I can account for what's happened both growing sets of lettuce. So let's take a look at the top one that didn't have any medium used. It's straight from seed to what you see right there, 45 days. All right, here we are. We're going to get a little closer. Sorry we had to cut that out. Moving a little bit slower. Got new bionic kip. Got one more to go. So some of the questions we asked when we first started this experiment with this 14 site cloner or 14 site germinator uh, bucket, two gallon bucket, were how fast would the seeds germinate? Well, looking at the overall picture here, don't take that to heart. I can explain the yellowness and the crunchiness on this. It is extremely green in the middle. This is my fault. I have let the water completely almost drain out. There was probably, when I caught it about two days ago, there was about a quarter inch of water still in the bottom. So there wasn't really even enough water to pick up. Well, actually there was not enough water to, for the dewy mister to pick up, to shoot up and hit on the roots. So what started is all this yellowing and drying out of the outer leaves started happening. But guess what? Because of the LED lights, all red and pink or whatever color you want to call it, you can't see any of the bad stuff. You can't see any of the good stuff. So in order to see what's actually going on, you have to turn that light off. Now, I have mine on a timer. I set them for, I think it was 12 hours on, 12 hours off, but never bothered to look at them while they were off. So. This yellowing and drying up is my fault. But back to the questions we asked in the very beginning of this experiment. How fast the germination in this bucket with no medium? About four to five days. And I think that is a little bit longer than normal. But there's a reason it's a little bit longer than normal. Main reason is we're indoors. And when I started this experiment, as you saw, when I had it set up on the bar, there was no cover over this to hold humidity in. There was no heater 
this is sitting inside the house. The house is kept at a constant between 70 72 degrees. It needs to be a little bit hotter than that for good germination. Normally, I can put everything in a starter tray and have germination in right at 24, no, no more than 48 hours. These took about four to five days. But when they came, they came out strong. Well, the next question I asked was, I wonder, will the roots be strong enough to grow through the coffee filters? Well, let's take a look and see. You see, you can still see a coffee filter right here on this little neoprene, or this little rubber insert. Now, remember, we only did half the bucket. So, and I, I have, like I said, I have not opened this up, looked up underneath it, so I don't know how many seeds germinated. I know we said we put two seeds into each one, and there were seven total. So we did about half the bucket. I'm pretty sure the roots will grow straight through that coffee filter. We're still pulling up. I'm caught on my airline now. Now, for whatever reason, the roots up top are kind of darker, more brown than I would like to see. But down at the bottom, all oh, pearl white. Beautiful roots, beautiful roots. Plants that have basically grown together. And you can't tell one from the other one unless you just ripped everything apart. Now to me this would probably be a little bit of a problem if you're going to grow lettuce like this because it's not going to be able to get big enough or have a big enough root system up underneath here. I might be completely wrong. We will test that theory here. Next question we asked was how many plants or how many seeds will germinate? Well I think we've done answer that. There's about four or three, three and a half, maybe four seeds germinated for this this much lettuce. Now once again I have to take credit for burning it up because I did not have the water going into it. There was a week in there that I was gone. I was having surgery. It did not get fed that week and when we came back it was suffering from lack of nutrients and lack of water. And you can tell in one week without the proper water or nourishment, you can tell what happens to your lettuce. It shrinks to almost half size and starts changing colors. If you catch it in time, then it will come back, it'll bounce back somewhat. But this one, I'm going to have to take credit for this one. So, because the lettuce did what it was supposed to do. It grew according to the nutrients it got and the water it got. Uh, at this point in time, you can tell it's, it's dark green on the inside. And I actually earlier about a week and a half ago walked through here and picked some of the outer leaves off and just ate them straight off the lettuce. They tasted fine so I kept on walking. Didn't even think about checking the water or the nutrients or the parts per million. My fault. Also during the entire course of growing this lettuce not once did I think about I guess I'm gonna have to put it on my list of stuff to do while this is growing. Take either fresh water, pH water, uh, water that's got nutrients in it, the same as in the bucket, and just spritz the leaves just to get them moist. But the whole time that they were sitting up there, the light was on top. Well, guess what the light does? When I started it out with the fluorescent light, it has heat. So it dries the leaves out. Now granted the leaves are gathering water up from the roots and they're sucking up what they need to and it's transpiring the water and, and the big cycle continues. But that was a fluorescent light. Just a plain old grow light from Walmart, a little two foot one. So when I started putting the, the higher powered LED lights on it, which take no power, and they're not really, you can put your hand up underneath it, there's no heat to it, but it's got to be drying out the water. We did a big no-no. We, we let the, the leaves actually start drying out, especially when the water level dropped in the bucket. There's no water to come up into the leaves, and with us not spray, spritzing the leaves and keeping them moist, I think we had a problem there also. On this one, just for those who are comparing what to grow with and all that, this one, I just I use Sensic Grow A and B. I'll have links to everything we've used in the bottom of the the video up underneath the comments so you can take a look we got everything pretty much off of Amazon uh, we just use Sensigrow just to see how it worked never used it before 
So we learn kind of some of the things what not to do. We learn some of the things what to do. So we're going to take that and we're going to run with it now that we've learned some of the do's and don'ts. Between putting Christmas lights up and between seeing how we can get some lettuce to grow, we still got the hydroponic tomatoes outside. I have a video on that in the next couple of days. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Until next time.